Basketball practices are getting underway for many programs at IU. The Hoosiers have some talented new additions in a group that's ready to go after last season ended so abruptly. Brad Brown has a closer look in our Sports Extra Spotlight. When we last saw the IU men's basketball team, they were walking off the court at the Big Ten tourney, a winner in the opening round. Within the next couple of days, the rest of the season had been canceled. It went from a very, very somber bus to a reality of everyone was going to go home, and you weren't real sure when they were coming back. And um, that's sort of how it ended. While this season was up in the air for a long time, for now, it's on. In Bloomington, the IU men's team gathered on Tuesday for media day, much of it going per usual. Photos to be taken, interviews to be given, and eventually, practice would get underway. I think we're on a group that you know, continues, to, continues to get better. And, um, you know, we just want to gradually, gradually build, and um, you know, we're going to... We'll, we'll just have to see how it, how it all plays out once the games get here, but I know we have a good group. IU could be very interesting to watch early on. Trace Jackson Davis returns for his sophomore campaign, led the Hoosiers in scoring and rebounding, among other categories, last year. Everyone from down to the freshmen all the way up to the seniors, um, everyone likes each other. Uh, that's a big part. Um, we all work hard and we hold each other accountable every day. It's just a different vibe this year. It's like everyone's ready to go, especially with an unfinished season last year. It's the highest rated recruiting class for Coach Miller at IU. Among the new additions, Indiana's Mr. Basketball, Anthony Leal, another Bloomington kid staying close to home. Christian Lander from Evansville. He moved up a year to come to IU. Trey Galloway, another big Indiana get for the Hoosiers. Same for Jordan Geronimo, a five-star recruit from New Jersey. It was surreal at first, and I'm starting to get more and more used to it as we keep going along. But I'm just, just really excited, especially for, you know, like games and all that stuff coming up. Just to be able to, to play with this jersey on means a lot to me. Each and every day I'm getting stronger and getting uh, getting the hang of the offense and stuff like that. So I feel like I'm, I'm a fast learner, so I feel like I'm going to get a, uh, the hang of stuff. The process has been, uh, been difficult, uh, but it's been fun at the same time, uh, just learning and growing. Just figuring out how does this maneuver through the college line coming from high school. Uh, it's fun though, it's a good experience. It's been good to kind of be here um, in the summer and in the fall and get united into the program and stuff. Um, and, the, and the seniors and upper class, we kind of just took us in on the wings to help us out and all that. There's very little set in stone when it comes to the schedule. IU will play in the Maui Invitational, albeit in Asheville, North Carolina. Not quite sand and sunshine, but potentially some games against top 10 teams in early December. We know that we have to be ready for November 25th. And you know what? If we have that game in stone on the 25th, that's what we're getting ready for. And we'll let all the other things sort of fall in line the best we can. But every school, every coach, and every team is dealing with some circumstance of uncertainty. We're not the only one, so how we handle it, um, you know, realistically is going to be the challenge. In Bloomington, Brad Brown, WRTV Sports.